Hey friends! Angie, your teen librarian, coming at you with a fun new edition of Teen Art Club. We're going to make little signs today. Got these fun little shadow box type wood, I don't know what you'd call them, planks, frames, somewhere in there. I'm sure you've seen a bunch of them that are really cute, have quotes on them or little pictures, and you can really put anything you want on there. Now I, as a librarian, this might shock you, am a fan of words and book quotes. So I'm going to decorate mine and put some book quotes on there because that's what I like to surround myself with. Shocking, I know. So we start with these ones that are nice and blank. As you can see, I've already got my background going on this one so that I can uh, put, a, put my book quote on there. Now what I've done for this one is I started by just layering it all with black paint. And then I took some midnight blue and layered that over the top once I let the black start to dry so it wasn't completely dry, so it still had a little bit of mixture. And I did that about, about half the way through. And then I switched to some purple, um, as you can see hanging out here in front, purple. And I did that over I guess about a quarter because I've still got this corner over here that's got nothing. Um, and that, if you can see this illustration here, went over the black where it was quite dry. Let me see if you can see that. Um, so it created some fun patterns where the black still showed through. So it really gave it that nice texture that I want. And so now I'm going to let this one dry a little more so I can put my quote on there. That there. And then we're going to do this one too. I'm going to do kind of a matching set with them. I'm gonna give them different quotes, but the theory is one will sit and one will stand. Does that make sense? One will be horizontal and one will be vertical. There we go. I'm a librarian, I like words, but I'm still gonna use poor grammar. Anyways, get my paintbrush ready again. And since I'm doing um, all of it in black, I am not going to bother so much with just putting it in here. And I'm just gonna dump it straight on. Anton, leave her alone, please. And we continue. And since I'm putting it all over the base with a layer of black, I'm not going to bother putting it on my little palette. And instead, I'm just gonna put my black paint directly on here and then get it going. Another thing that I really like to do is to, come on, uh, woo, might have got a little extra and that's fun, that's fine, uh, is to definitely try to incorporate some sort of pattern in there. Now, if you have better brush options than me, and if I'd been thinking I would have gotten newer brushes that are bigger, these are the same brushes I did our, our stick art for walls with which is fun, but it's a little small to be doing just full coverage like this. So I start by just getting the paint everywhere, <laughs> including on me. And then I'm going to go back through and try to just work in some stuff. Since I'm doing, a, my theme is night sky. I don't know if I said that, night sky is my theme. And if you think about how beautiful the sky is and how many patterns you can see up there from the stars to like, I don't know if mist is the right word. We can just see all kinds of cool things in the sky and you really want it to be textured. I guess I shouldn't generalize like that. I like it to be textured. Maybe you like a smoother look. You should do this based on your likes. What do you like? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll catch you up with you guys for the next color. Okay, so I've pretty much got coverage on here. And as you can see, the only pattern that's really in there right now is me covering it. So what I meant is just to like, I tend to do a swirl because it's nice and easy and you can do it like really uniform, but it still looks pretty natural without looking like you're trying too hard, which I think is pretty cool. And you can do tighter or looser or any patterns. You could put a secret message in the back of here and have it say something extra. I'm doing this one slightly different than I did my other one because I've decided I really like this pattern. It's like tighter texture. I'll show you here in just a second. 
and the edges. We should probably paint the edges too. I'm probably gonna do that once the video's over and then I'll show you guys a final thing, but that's gonna take a lot of drying. See? You guys see that pattern we put in, that texture we put in there? All right. Next step is to let it dry just, just enough that you're going to have that coverage stay full, really put in that pattern, and then you're going to go in with your next color, which I do midnight blue next. It's my next color. And pick whichever side you're gonna start it with and ease that in there. You can do the same pattern, you can do a different pattern, you can do no pattern. And it's sort of an ombre thing, but I think the real goal, for me at least, of doing these three colors is to get those colors to blend at the edges. Oh, we got a visitor. There's my cat. She likes to be part of everything. Do you guys have pets? That's my main doodle. When I'm just drawing on my own, doodling for no reason other than that, I'm bored and I want to, I draw my cat every time. It's probably why she has the ego problem she has and thinks she needs to be part of every video. It's my fault. I've made you into this monster. But she's just so cute. Can't help it. And I like to go about halfway over with this color, just getting big glops of it on here so that I can put it on and then do my pattern through it multiple times, spreading it both ways each time. Go here, about there. And when we start with the purple, we're going to not pick up where we left off. We're going to go over the blue to get a little blend on that as well. Through, go back over some of the looser, still wet paint of our blue. So, it's about what I'm going to do with the blue. You know, it looks like in the camera a little getting like mermaid vibes, dragon scale vibes, and I'm digging it. And we're going to take our purple, and it's not a I feel rude saying it's not a special purple, but it's it's just purple purple. It's not aubergine or violet or lilac, just purple. Still pretty as can be. Still the color of magic. And I really like to not just leave a whole side empty, but to kind of do it around the corner. Say I really like it like I do this all the time. I did one before this. This is my second one, but I always like to do this. Okay. We are just going to wrap this up and switch these out and let this one dry while I do some text on the other one. Go. So that's how I've got this one. I actually think I'm probably going to go back over and do more because the other one looked a little more natural than this instead of that one just looking like it's got just a big empty spot, which I don't think. So we're going to fix that. That's the real thing too, is you can do every, when you're going with your own pattern, you can really put anything you like on there. And if you decide you don't like it halfway through, change it, add something, subtract something, paint it all over with black and start again. It is all up to you. What do you want it to be? What is your vision? Maybe your vision changes halfway through and that's fine and that's fun. You just gotta do you, boo. I do like that better. Okay, now I'm gonna switch them out and let this one dry. She's like my mug. Edgar Allan Poe for the win. I'm just gonna swap these babies out. I think we're going to do this one horizontal and we'll let this one be a vertical one. So the quote I have selected for this is a Sarah J. Mass quote. She's one of my favorite authors and I love her. And she's got this one quote, I'm trying to remember which book it came from. I will remember and put it in the blog. Uh, but it says, only you get to decide what breaks you. And that is one that I find particularly inspirational every day. So... I'm going to use white paint for this 
And since it's sure to be slow and boring, I'm not gonna record that part, but we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so basically done. I'm probably gonna go through and add some stars and fidget with it until I really hate it, because that's my pattern. But in the meantime, here's what I've done. So the only real problem was that I didn't think through my spacing. I have the toxic trait of just going ahead and doing things without fully planning the details. So if you're more detail oriented than me, you will probably have taken your blank before you painted it blank box thing and space out your words if you're going to put script on it. And then you'll either have practiced your script and know exactly how you want to do it. Maybe you'll start with cursive and then just go to block lettering. Um, and maybe like me, you don't like your handwriting. That's okay because while I hate my handwriting, I also love my handwriting. And I love having things in my house that I made. So here are mine. I'll show you guys final little product after I put some stars in. Uh, I really hope you guys will show me yours. Thanks so much for tuning into another teen art club. I hope you guys are having a great time out there. Uh, and you know, I have a last minute thought. If you make these, put all your work into them and love them or despise them. They can make great gifts either way. And you don't have to tell a person you made them for that you just didn't want to keep it for yourself. I made this for you. This is for you. For you. I made this for you. Anyways. Happy holidays, guys. Hope you're all doing well out there.